What's going on YouTube? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today's video is talking about my worst gym experience ever. It was pretty bad, but before I get into this, I wonder what experiences you've gotten. I'm pretty sure you guys have gone through a lot of bad stuff, and I'm going to give you guys a quick examples right here. Now, I know this picture and it is the best. This guy is really confident with his body, but a lot of you, especially me, have seen this around the gym. We do not want to see your stuff and your junk, so please keep that away. Am I right? Now some of you guys probably got injured before in the gym. It's the worst thing ever. You know, you can't work out for a while depending on how bad the injury is. Some people need surgery. Some people need, you know, a lot of help. And this is the worst thing ever. So never get this. And by the way, this guy's face is priceless. I mean, he's the best actor ever. Another terrible thing is when you need to go change, when you want to leave, and they're cleaning the restroom. They got ladies in there. They're like, sorry, sir, you can't go in right now because they don't want the people looking at you when you're changing and stuff like that. Please, I just want to go home. Yeah, you 12 year old gangster ass kid. Alright, guys, I had to mute him, but those are just some examples I had, you know, about getting injured or all those, all the bad stuff that can happen in the gym. But overall, the gym is an amazing thing. Now, to talk about my worst experience ever, and I've been through a lot, you know, I've been working out for almost five years now, so it's been a while, maybe even six years, I'm not sure. And the worst thing ever has to be when I got injured but not that bad i'm surprised i'm even alive right now to be honest like god was with me that day like he held my hand he kept me alive you know it was all him man i swear so i started off on a saturday morning i went to the gym before the 2k and you know same old same old routine i was chest day i was gonna go work out by myself because usually especially on saturdays i don't work out with anybody come to think of it i really don't work out with much people anymore except maria when she comes to the gym with me i'm a solo type of guy but that's harder because i gotta push myself and i got nobody to spot me so, you know, I started stretching, warmed up a little bit. I was ready to hit the bench, you know. I was looking nice, feeling good, a little bit tired like always, but, you know, feeling ready. I did a couple of sets, you know. I like to do one or two sets. One, well, usually one set of warm-up. But I decided to push myself a little bit. Usually, especially lately, you know, when I go to the gym by myself, I do heavier weights. I do two plates, two plates in a 10. You know, it's it's a little risky because I don't have anybody to spot me, but I know what I'm capable of. I know I can carry it just fine. Now, this all happens so fast. I don't know. I don't know how it happened to be honest, I'm thinking of it. It happened about half a year ago and it all happened just so fast. I was benching. I think what happened was I was trying to put the bar back. You know, usually you just put it back up. I was really tired. I was doing like two plates and a 10 or two plates and a, yeah, two plates and a 10 each side. I think that's like 215 pounds or 35 or something like that. I think I did six, seven, eight reps. I was blown out. You know, I had to put the bar back and out of nowhere, I guess I miss, miss, miscalculated how far it's going to be and it just dropped straight almost on my neck now at this point you know i'm freaking out like this thing almost slammed my neck probably would have broken in half but luckily thank god what really happened was i guess it tipped the top of my chest so it didn't immediately it didn't drop straight on my neck if it would have dropped straight on my neck that's about 240 pounds i probably would have either died or gone to emergency room with that like a bad injury so it bounced straight off my top top part of my chest and it jumped into my neck now thank god for my chest probably helped reduce the pounds by like 100 pounds so it was about like 100 140 130 pounds to drop me on my neck it helped reduce the momentum and that's what really saved me it was the scariest thing ever you know it was a really scary experience you know i i, I was really frightened i was shitting bricks literally not not literally not not, not literally i had neck pain for about a good a good week or two, you know, it was really bad. It was really scary. I just want to say this message. Be careful, guys, especially when working out of the gym, especially if you're working out alone. It's okay to push yourself sometimes, but be really careful. You know, working out and lifting heavy weights can be obviously really danger dangerous. So please just be careful. But you know me like a badass. I just I just brushed it off and kept working out. Nah, that's that's usually what I do when I get hurt. Thank you guys for watching the video. Thankfully, nothing happened to me that day. Could have been really bad. And like I said, just be careful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your boy Apathy, and I'm out.